So we're pulling up to some guys who apparently have found a puff adder in an electrical box. Yeah. Oh, I've got a house snake in the tube from last night. That should come out. Let's go see what we have here. How are you? Good in here. Well, thanks. I was a lot better when my heart wasn't beating so fast. <laughs> in this box. Oh, wait. He's just warmed up. He's under there, plate. Is he under there? The small I, pig? Uh, he's, he's about that Really? When he's, uh, oh, yeah, I see his tail. And he's a bit swollen. Yeah. So I don't know if he's eating something. But and where was he? In the box? Across the boxes inside there, yeah. On the inside? On eh? the inside there. Like right across the thing. And then it went down into the hole at the bottom there. Yeah. And I managed to get it out. Uh, just coaxed it. I had yeah. a little bit of, I had a, st a plank. And I yeah. coaxed him out and he came out. Sure. And then he started going through and I grabbed him by the tail and other side and I like. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. him and I put him down. Yeah. But he was getting a bit agitated. Is it? And I was trying to... There you go. Here's a nice size. I think it's a big boy. Uh, little injury to his back uh, there. Ah, uh, sorry man, I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah. Uh, nice size pup that uh. You reckon it's out something or is it just normally that? Ah, uh, no, nah, he hasn't eaten anything, eh? he's just normally that uh, size. Yeah. I was still in a side run when you released the other day. Is it? Oh yeah, that was me. Oh, was it you? Further up there? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so a really nice big male puff adder. And he wasn't convinced uh, that it's a puff here, so now it's a puff adder. Ah, yeah, you know what a puff adder looks like, eh? They should. Woo. Active now. Should just see the hole and want to go hard. Awesome, man. Thanks. No pleasure. So where do you take him now? Is it I'll a puff take, adder? Yeah. yeah. I'll go find a nice spot. Uh, maybe down in the valley. Probably the closest area to go and release them. Oh, you drop it there? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Go and release them there. I don't uh, particularly like snacks, so. <laughs> no, it's a pleasure. So, you just have a look at this puff adder. Have a closer look because I've got a suspicion that when he pulled it out of the electrical box, unfortunately, he broke its spine. Nice and gently on the table. There we go. Okay. So I want to use this tube, which allows me to get the snake in and hold it without necking it. I don't want to neck a puff adder. Uh, if I can just coax him in, allow me to examine him safely. Come on. So you can kind of help me. There we go. Grab them right there. And so now we can have a closer look right there. Yeah. You can see right there the big bulge and some swelling where yeah the back's definitely broken. And there's no movement or reaction. Like if I poke here, there's no if I pinch the end of his tail here, there's no feeling whatsoever. So unfortunately right there, there's definitely a break. There's some broken ribs. <sighs> That's really unfortunate. Because it's above the cloaca, you can't pass anything. So, yeah. So, the guy was trying to help and pulled him out of the electrical box and pulled too hard and it literally just snapped. That's really unfortunate. So unfortunately, I'll double check with the vet, but he's probably going to have to be euthanized. Yeah, as you can see, quite clearly from that angle, I'm sure you can see that break. Oh, such a shame. Well, let's get him back into his tube and then I'll phone one of the exotic vets that we have in PE and see if he can assess it as well. Just always want a second opinion, but... There's no feeling whatsoever. Yeah.